To get to the dbSNP website, search Google. It should be your first hit. The dbSNP name is a bit misleading because it does contain more than SNPs. As the homepage says, it contains short genetic variations. Um, type in a gene name initially to get a list of variants. Notice that SNPs are returned for all species, so you can filter your results to just human entries. All of the entries have RSIDs or RS numbers. This is quite often the handle you have to a for a variant, so I'm just going to search for RS16942. Note that the top hit is the matching RSID with four other RSIDs in the list that have been merged into RS16942. This means that these entries, uh, for example, 17622199, once existed on its own, but it's the, they since have figured out that that was the same SNP as RS16942, so they keep the SNP with a smaller number. Put this into the search box, and you'll notice that the response is that this SNP doesn't exist. Remove the RS, and it'll give you the correct response of uh, that it's been merged into this entry. Click on that link to take you to the report page for RS16942. Let's look at some key attributes of the SNP in the top table. This is a human SNP that is an SNV or single nucleotide variation. Its two alleles are A and G on the reverse strand, but I don't rely on DB strand SNP information as we haven't found it to be right all the time, so you'll want to uh, validate that uh, with another method. Inspecting validation status gives you some confidence whether this is a real variant. The report shows that it has been found in HapMap and 1000 genomes, as well as three other types of validation. If you click on the validation status link, it'll give you a, a legend that shows uh, that describes all the icons you may see in validation status. There's also a section at the bottom of the page that will give you um, uh, additional validation information. Also looking at the uh, population diversity section above that, um, uh, which we'll discuss at the end of the screencast, will give you some idea if this variant is real. Looks like this one is. It has lots and lots of different variation. Uh, the next section, Integrated Maps, shows the chromosomal position of this SNV on different assemblies. The GRCH38 and GRCH37.p13 entries display the chromosomal position of this SNV on BILT38 and 37, respectively. Note that the BILT36 entry does not appear anymore. The CHR column gives the chromosome and the uh, CHR pause the base pair position on that chromosome. I don't really pay attention to this uh, contig uh, information. The gene view section uh, shows how it's related to nearby genes, with nearby, gene, nearby being defined as within 2,000 base pairs, I think. The gene model table also tells you that this SNP is a missent SNP in two different, in two different transcripts, this NM7297 uh, and uh, 7294, with corresponding allele and amino acid changes. It's also in a non-coding RNA and in a lot of different uh, XM computationally calculated transcripts. Scrolling down the page to the submitter section shows all the separate submissions for this SNP to dbSNP that have been put together to form this entry. Next is the surrounding FASTA sequence for the SNP with the, with the SNP on a line by itself with the IUPAC character R representing the possibility of an A or G for this SNV. If you look at the surrounding genomic sequence uh, in UCSC, for example, uh, you'll note that this is indeed on the reverse strand of the human genome. Finally, let's examine the population diversity section. It will display all those submissions that provided frequency information. Each entry will give you a population and information on the ethnicity of that group, if it exists, uh, the number of chromosomes that went into the calculation, the source, where IG stands for individual genotype, AF stands for allele frequency, and um, you don't see GF, but they, they, they also can supply genotype frequency. Then the gen genotype frequencies and allele frequencies um, are listed. The lower the number of chromosomes, the lower confidence you, you will have in that estimate usually. Note the HapMap3 entries right here, the 1,000 Genomes pilot entries, and the HapMap2 entries down here. Uh, note that this SNP is in the 1,000 Genomes release 2011-0521, uh, 
but I don't see it in this table. Thanks.